Hi everyone, myself Parthiv. I'm CEO of Tech Receptives. Today I'm going to show you connector WooCommerce, which is basically a WooCommerce connector for Odoo built by Tech Receptives. The source code of this connector is openly available on github.com in our Tech Receptives repository. So you can download the code and try it yourself as well and it's pep8 flag8 clear so wheels are passing as per oca guidelines as well so which is a one good sign so let's let's get started uh, with installation first of all you need to install one of the libraries python libraries which is woocommerce i'm just installing it called sudo easy install woocommerce and that's installed now now I'm going to get into my workspace Oro and I'm going to start my machine or database I would say or Oro instance and you can see I have used other connector repositories as well so you can use them as well it's open source repositories that we have used and uh, this is my blank database I would say just with base module installed what I'm going to do is going to install the WooCommerce connector module. So just click on install and it will install the module. So while this module is being installed, let's go to WooCommerce site and explore a few things around. So this is my WordPress installation. This is basic WordPress installation. I have installed WooCommerce plugin and that's that's the only thing that I have installed at the moment in the system and to use this module you also need one more plugin on a WordPress side uh, which I'm going to install just search in WooCommerce plugin called Odoo and you'll find the mo connector Woo Odoo module which is developed by Tech Receptors just install it and that's it This module is basically giving you some additional uh, web services which is not available at the moment in WooCommerce. So that's why you need to add this module. There is no other configuration to be done to use this module. That's just install this module, that's it. And once you install this module and you need to go to your WooCommerce settings and in this uh, WooCommerce settings if you see your con configuration for currencies even regarding product shippings and all this configuration is, is as it is there is nothing else to be done only thing that you have to do is in API you have to enable this REST API and you have to generate an additional key pair which is basically a one-time user uh, of sort of a password thing so just create an key details with any user that you wish and then you give them a write permission or read write permission I would say generate this key if you generate this key you see a notice saying okay these keys are visible only once so make sure you store them if you want to use it later on else you will not be able to see these keys uh, again I would say in WordPress or you have to generate new keys so while this installation is still going on, uh, let's do certain additional configuration or some new add-ons for the products and categories. So I'm just adding a category first. So I'm just adding some basic category. This is all for demo. If you have additional existing store, uh, system can sync that categories and the data for products and categories. I'm just adding a category. main category now I'm adding up one more category called mobile just adding up slug and making main category as a parent then I'm adding one more category called oneplus yeah you can use the slug anything I'm using oneplus and you can keep it again on a parallel or child level categories so this is my category structure main category and then i have a category called mobile and oneplus now let's set up a product i'm adding up a product mm -hmm. called 
yeah one plus two yeah okay i'm just telling about media files and okay okay let me just add up a specific category image or product image or gallery image i'm just setting it up okay product image or gallery image i'm just removing this from here and let's just select the categories i want to put it into this category structure just publish it or you can later on add the price i have let me just add uh, sku one plus two and the price 400 what's the sale price 350 and just update okay so my product is here i have categories over there as well and if i see in order okay let's install now okay done done and here you see in my auto instance once the module is installed i have a new menu called connector before configuring the connector i'm going to add one more module which helps me do certain manual things which is cron manual thing cron run auto manually so i'm just going to install this module and that's it so what this module will give me is to ability to execute crons manually let's just configure our connector first i'll go to backend i'll create a new backend say so, okay my woocommerce store site and i just select url then consumer key and consumer secret that you're supposed to keep here so i'm just copy paste fit it here and secret as well and the version that we are using of api is version 2 for the moment for woocommerce click on check and that's successful so so my site and configuration is working perfect at the moment with this configuration so now let's sync up first is product categories the moment i click on product categories this will generate a sort of a sync job so that will sync the categories or a batch that will sync the all the categories so and this will be done automatically in a live instance or on a generic occasion but to speed up the demo i'm just executing them manually so there is a cron job called nq jobs and i'm going to execute it manually so i click on run once i run it it will ex or schedule three category sync so i sync it again and if i see all the crons are done and i have my categories over here main category mobile and now i'm going to sync my products so again same import products it will create a job again in queue jobs click twice and that's it and if i go to sales products and if i say one plus you can see my product with the image so it syncs product description image even the price and the variant at the moment is a single so there is no other attributes for the moment in sync so it's just a single variant okay now let's place an order let's create an order over the store so i'm just going to create an order from the shop let's buy the product add to cart let's see what's in the cart i can proceed to check out and key in the details that is required so 
a normal WordPress or WooCommerce checkout process. Key in email address, phone number, the address. And the state zip code that's it. Just placing the order for one device, and that's the order that I have placed on WordPress site. So, and if I go to WordPress admin panel or WooCommerce admin panel, I can see the order over there as well. With the details now we need to fetch this order details into Oro just simple just go to connector backend and just say okay import sale orders it will create a batch for importing and then you just let the cron run or you run it manually and if you see here jobs is all done go to sales quotation and you see the sale order and that's how it works all the details all the way from woocommerce to odoo thanks for watching